The universe really consists of open systems that exchange energy and mass between them. So if our equation delta H equals delta G0 plus T delta S applies only to closed systems and then only under standard conditions, can we measure energy changes in open systems? First thing we need to do is talk about the property of open systems. Open systems can exchange energy and mass with their surroundings, whereas closed systems can't do that by definition. Open systems, because they can exchange mass and energy with their environment, they never reach equilibrium. What an open system will do instead is achieve a steady state. And a steady state is one in which the rate of input of reactants and energy is equal to the rate of output of energy and mass. Another feature or property of open systems is that the steady state can change. Just imagine that there is a depletion of reactants, and then there's not enough reactant to put into the reaction, and the steady state is going to, in fact, slow down. Steady states are not constant. The result of the ability of steady states to fluctuate, to change, is that an energetically unfavorable reaction in a closed system, that is an endergonic reaction, might actually be energetically favorable, or we would say spontaneous, in an open system. And we're going to see some examples of this when we look at the actual free energy change in open systems. For open systems, we will measure delta G prime, the change in actual free energy. Delta G prime, the change in actual free energy, and delta G zero, the standard free energy change in a closed system, are related by the following equation. Delta G prime equals delta G zero plus R T times the natural log of this expression. The concentration of C in its in the steady state times the concentration of D in the steady state, those are the products of a reaction, divided by the concentration of A in the steady state times the concentration of B in the steady state. A and B, of course, are the reactants in our generic reaction. SS stands for steady state here. We're going to look at actual free energy changes when we look at glycolysis.